Hey there magic one, welcome to your weekly tarot reading, I hope you're doing really well. I just wanted to drop in, show up and share a few things with you. Uh, I wanted to let you know that the March monthly readings of course they're done, they are up and live. Uh, you might want to check yours out for your zodiac sign, for your sun, your moon, your rising, maybe even your Venus. Um, if you want to, they are there. There's also an extended version so if it does resonate you can get more detail. The extended can be accessed by clicking the link down below when you do watch the monthly reading that is. I'm also having a sale. I am having an Equinox sale on the initiation. Now that is my immersive learn tarot journey. And I'm having that sale because on the 21st of March, we begin the new astrological year. Now this is a great time to start the new, to begin a new cycle, to leave behind what hasn't served you, maybe from the past couple of years while we have been through it. So if you want to join me for that, I am having a special prize on that it will be running from March the 21st through to March 31st so you've got 10 days and it will be closing at midnight Australian Eastern Standard Time on the 31st now in that course I teach my signature process for reading tarot from the heart and I call that the mystic key now um, I've had students come to me that say, well, I actually kind of know some of the meanings of the cards and that kind of thing. I just don't know how to put it all together. Well, that's what I feel, you know, is my gift to help people with. Um, but if you are a beginner from scratch, you know, we go through all the meanings of the cards as well. You get resources for that. There's videos, uh, there's practices, online learning modules that have been really beautifully created. So you'll get immediate lifetime access when you sign up. You will also get direct access to me through my karmic community community over on Facebook. So if you'd like to learn how to really connect more deeply with your intuition and guide yourself um, through your life decisions, that is a great tool for that. You can find me on social media as well, Facebook and Instagram. Please use the link down below for Instagram though. There is a fake account which funnily enough has more subscribers than me and will ask you if you want a reading. I would never ask you if you want a reading. It's a, it's a calling to request a reading. But if you do want a personal reading or healing, my website links down below as well and you can see what I do offer there. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll know when I post new videos it's a great energy exchange between us like share comment all of that I'm wishing you so much love and magic once again let's head to your reading Aries welcome to your tarot reading for March 21st through to the 27th I hope you're doing really well let's see what may be on the cards for you I've got the nine card block here three recent past three focus energy three for your future outcome I've got a selection of oracles a lead tarot energy and I've turned over the bottom of the deck to find this tower for you we'll get to that I'm working with the sacred creator oracle the work your light oracle the moon child and star child tarots from Danielle Knoll and the radiant right away so Aries, if it is your birthday, a massive happy birthday to you. Uh, Aries, um, the, the sun has gone into your sign on the 21st, or you might be watching this just before the 21st when I post this. And this really means that, you know, it is a great time for bold and brave action. Um, you know, it can be a really big time of release and letting go and change because this is the beginning of a, a new astrological year where we leave behind what hasn't maybe served us from from the past one and we step boldly into into the new so uh, I see that theme here um, I see big change and big transformation and you know with the tower and the death card that is what is unfolding here it's shedding of an old skin Aries so the Empress hasn't showed up this uh, this week, but maybe she will from the clarifiers. She, she usually does for you, Aries. So let's start with the Oracles. I've got one step ahead is all you need and overrate your intuition. High Priestess is at the end of the reading. So it feels like this is a time to be guided by your, your heart rather than your head. Of course, we still need to use logic, but it feels like whatever you are sensing intuitively, you know, you 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 are really really um, 
uh, what am I trying to say, Aries? Yeah, you are feeling into the truth here. So don't be swayed by the, you know, by the thoughts of the mind and the ego. It says it is time to step ahead in a new direction. It feels like you're needing to move on from a past disappointment or a past challenge here, Aries, and transform your situation. Transformation is the uh, oracle card here, and it says things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. Now, the card of transformation in the Major Arcana is the Death card, and it sits at um, the, the, the center of the reading because through through uh, letting things go that haven't worked out, through clearing the slate, through accepting that everything has a season and a cycle and the dying away is part of that cycle, we can uh, invite in the rebirth, okay? We don't get to rebirth without death. So I feel like there is uh, the processing of a loss here, but it says that things are beginning to transform should you just surrender and allow that process to happen. Seven of Wands is your lead tarot energy and it is a card of challenge, Aries. Um, it is a card of challenge and competition. Uh, for me, it is a card of realignment. It is sometimes when we are staying focused or fighting for something that that just isn't meant for us any longer. Um, it's saying that it's time to be prepared for, for change. Um, and all everything that is unfolding here is to realign you to your path of truth areas and we have to trust in the process no matter how how painful it is so I'll get to the tower I'm gonna sort of use the top row to explain what I'm seeing here we've got the eight of Pentacles three of cups and the five of cups okay so I feel like there has been a loss or a disappointment now for many of you I'm seeing this happening in your in your workspace or um, your place of study, okay? The Eight of Pentacles is that classic worker energy. Or it could have been something that you've been working towards or planning or trying to create, okay? And that could be many different things. And I think that you had expected um, a favorable result or outcome here. You'd maybe thought, well, I've put in the work. Everything's lined up. It's only a matter of time. Soon I'm going to be celebrating this harvest. But... The universe has most definitely had other plans for you and it has it's fallen over Aries, okay? So this could have been you trying to uh, position yourself for a promotion or a pay rise. This could have been you going through the interview process for a job. This could have been you trying to create a side hustle or, you know, a creative venture outside of work. Could have been you, you know, trying to, you know, even purchase a home. It's something to do with our resources, with our money, Um that kind of, I'm feeling that more so than love, but it could have been in relationship for some of you. You put your effort in, you put your all in, and I think you felt because of that that you would be rewarded, okay? You know, I'm doing my bit, universe, you show up with your bit. Now the universe has given you a different result, right? It's given you, instead of three raised cups in celebration, it's given you three spilt cups, and it has... Um, taken away this opportunity is evaporated for you and you are left here standing here going well now I'm just losing faith because you know I've got that now I'm running a story of uh, you know if I work hard then it doesn't always you know end up with in, in any kind of result so that's what I'm feeling for you here the tower you know is that sudden change or that sudden loss that feels a bit shocking um, but the tower is also a huge card Aries of realignment. Um, I think that you needed to learn that lesson that is part of it, but it's also that whatever this was is, is just not meant to be for you. It could have, with a three of cups, it could have been other like competitors here for this and it's gone to one of them if that, if it was something that you could kind of pitch for. Um, the tower is a card saying that, you know, this was a square peg round hole that you would have outgrown this quickly or that it just what just wasn't going to give you that fulfillment that you're looking for. So the universe has co-conspired to remove this from your path. The issue is, Aries, that you are still dwelling on it. Um, in the Five of Cups, we see somebody who is, there's levels to it. Someone who is sad, someone who maybe feels like, you know, there's a sense of guilt as well or... Somebody is even feeling depressed about this. This was my one shot. You know, I had all my eggs in this basket. 
But what you're not seeing, Aries, is that there are two cups right behind you, meaning there are new opportunities coming in for you that will be far more fruitful. The universe is saving the best to last, it's saving the best for you. And this wasn't the best, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. This week, we've got the Four of Cups, Death, and the Nine of Cups. Now, something else is coming through, Aries. I feel that there could be a new opportunity or offer coming for you, but you're going to need to be mindful that you don't miss it. In this card here, I see somebody trying to give you something, that maybe someone trying to say, hey, but what about this offer? But you are discrediting it or not looking at it because you're hung up on the three on the on the opportunity that was lost okay so that's where the past can be the thief of the present because we may not see you know uh, like the gift horse coming okay so it's time to disconnect from the situation and and enter this week with open eyes because i feel that whatever this person is offering you is the very thing that can take you to the nine of cups okay death and rebirth from a loss to something far greater. So the death card says it's time to clear the slate, surrender to what's happened here, let go, accept that 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 season has ended for you and you're coming into a new chapter now. That sun energy is rising for you. It feels like you're going to overcome this and that a much more positive chapter is, is, is coming, Aries. Nine of Cups is... Um, you know, it's wish fulfillment. You are going to get what you wish for. It's not going to be in that package or in that timing, right? And this is happiness, contentment, satisfaction. It is high vibrational um, opportunity. So that's what I'm sensing. Be on the lookout. Do not discredit what somebody's offering you this week because I feel like this is part of the test, okay? It's part of the test. So down here, I've got the devil, I've got the ten of pentacles and the high priestess, Capricorn energy here. All right, now that devil energy, I'm feeling Aries could be that limitation within yourself, that attachment, being so attached to that outcome, that could have you um, basically miss this opportunity here, right? Maybe your know, attachment, still identifying with this. Um, so we need to be mindful that it can be our own limitations arising that keep us chained to the old and have us, you know, stay stuck, basically. So it's time to overcome that because High Priestess and the Ten of Pentacles here say, you know, it should just open up. I think your intuition, which you should overrate, is telling you that this new opportunity can be so abundant for you stable secure and can take you to where you want but there's a big block in the way and that is you know the other place we see the main sort of darkness in this reading is this dark cloak meaning it's your own negative block here that is um, stopping you from seeing that other possibility is here and it actually it's just it could be the very thing that is so much better than what you were seeking anyway so Let's get another one, Aries. Let's see if the Empress comes out for us. No, but we've got the Two of Swords. Yeah, there will be a new path opening up for you. And you will need to choose, Aries, is what I'm sensing. Again, we see the Moon Energy. Overrate your intuition. What are you feeling rather than what are you thinking? Knight of Cups. What this person is offering you is an authentic offer. Um, it's Pisces energy, by the way, that, you know, is something heart from the heart. And the Page of Cups. <laughs> yeah, something from the heart. Something unexpected and something that comes in a slightly different package. So when it shows up, Aries, I feel like you are going to... Uh, that's why you're not going to see this because you're so focused on it should have looked like this. This was the thing. And no, I feel like this is going to be something different. Okay. And I've got the moon. That's Pisces again. 
and the nine of wands in reverse and it's going to take you out of the struggle there is some kind of hidden blessing coming for you Aries so just make sure that you are on the lookout no Empress this week but that is okay I'm sure she is here in spirit with you Aries so I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this channel tarot message. Keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective and it may or may not resonate for you. Drop me a comment if you're called cool to share Aries. I do read them all and try to interact with you all over there. Helps me get to know you and connect with your energy. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. You'll know when I post new videos then. And uh, it helps support my channel so it's a great exchange between us as is when you like, share and comment. It's been a great reading to share with you Aries. I'm wishing you a wonderful week ahead. Bye for now.